everyone, it's Vicky from Minerva. We are really excited today to be launching our latest base cloth in the Minerva exclusive fabric collection. Now just to give you a bit of a backstory on this collection, at Minerva we, have, uh, we are celebrating our 25th anniversary this year. We are a family owned company. The company was set up by my mum and dad when I was a little girl and yet it's just amazing that we are celebrating our 25th year. Where did that time go? And in the last year we have launched our own range of exclusive fabrics with dressmaking in mind and it's just fantastic that we've got to the point now as a company where we can curate our own ranges we work with artists and designers from literally all over the world to bring these amazing pieces of art to fabric so that we can sew them into garments that we can love and cherish and wear and this latest base cloth that we are launching is a viscose jersey which is one of my favourite fabrics both to sew and to wear and this viscose jersey that we are launching is just the most amazing quality. I think it's the perfect weight, softness, drape, everything about it. We, we've spent over 12 months searching for the perfect viscose jersey and we absolutely think we found it with this fabric and we have a, um, a collection of 10 designs that we are launching today. So I would um, love to show, share with you the 10 designs and I've also picked some of my favourite pattern picks to go with each one just to give you some ideas on the sorts of things that you can make with this type of fabric. So let's have a look at the first one and chat a little bit about the fabric itself to start with. So this first design is our Wildflower Fusion print and it's just the most beautiful print ever. The colours, those pretty pinks and lilacs, the detail in this print is just amazing and yeah it's we, we've already launched this on our viscose chalet base cloth and this has been one of our most beautiful prints so uh, sorry most popular prints so we couldn't resist but do it on a viscose jersey. So viscose itself um, it's actually derived from wood pulp and it's even more breathable than cotton fibre and it is so soft, like this just feels absolutely beautiful against your skin. It's silky almost, it's, it's that soft. It's um, certainly an opaque fabric, like you certainly wouldn't need to worry about lining this um, and yeah it's, it's it's the drape of a viscose jersey, which to me makes it really, really special. Now you can see there, if I hang this up, just how soft, how drapey, how soft and fluid and floaty that fabric is. Now this is a knit fabric, so a knit jersey, and on um, this particular fabric, so this is made with 92% viscose fibres and 8% elastane and the stretch in this fabric, it's actually got very good stretch and recovery because of that high elastane content. So on the width it stretches 80% and down the length of the fabric it stretches 60%. So it's a good amount of stretch in both ways, just a little bit more stretchy across the width. Now for this sort of fabric, with it being a knit, we would absolutely recommend um, sewing it with a ballpoint needle and the reason for that is on a ballpoint needle, as the name suggests, instead of it having a very sharp pointed tip, it actually has a rounded ball on the end of the needle and what that does is instead of piercing a hole in the fabric, it actually finds a hole amongst those knitted threads that make up the fabric. So it will just give you a neater stitch uh, finish and um, just yeah a, a neater look and it's not going to you know you're going to um, not really have problems with puckered seams or skip stitches or anything like that. It just makes for an easier sewing experience and a really professional um, uh, beautiful stitch line. 
Now with this sort of fabric, because it is so soft, so drapey, it obviously makes it uh, suitable for certain styles of clothing, but you could make, I mean, so many different styles of tops and dresses. You could even make uh, a summery jumpsuit or a summery culottes, uh, even skirts. Uh, it's just such a versatile fabric, but you definitely want a pattern or a style that's gonna make the most of that beautiful drape. Now the width of this fabric is 155 centimetres or 62 inches approximately, so it's a good wide width. Um, and the weight of it is 220 GSM, um, which that puts it into our medium weight category here at Minerva. So even though it's quite, um, you know, it's not a very thick fabric, but it is quite weighty, which is what gives it that absolutely beautiful drape. Um, yeah, it just hangs so well. Now, for washing instructions, the manufacturer's instructions with this are to wash at a 30 degree wash and you would um, leave it to air dry. So that is going to be the way that you will preserve the length of this fabric the most uh, and, you know, really look after it. However, we have tested it on a 40 degree wash and in the tumble dryer and it's absolutely fine. Um, so, yeah, you know, either option is fine with that. But we would always, firstly, we would always recommend pre-washing your fabric. And that is because just in case there is any shrinkage at all in the fabric, um, sometimes it can change the softness once it's been through a wash. Um, and that will mean then that once you've sewn the garment, you know, you, you're not going to get any unexpected, anything unexpected when it comes out of its first wash. Um, you know, the, work, the last thing you want is to spend all that time and love making a garment and then it, it shrinks in the first wash and doesn't fit anymore. So yeah, we always recommend pre-washing. Um, and if you are going to change from the manufacturer's uh, instructions, you know, we'd always recommend doing a, a test sample as well, just to be on the safe side for your, um, for your machine. So in terms of is this an easy fabric to sew, now some people are a little bit intimidated at sewing with knits, um, but I think sometimes that's more, you know, it's the, the fear of the unknown as, a, as opposed to knits being difficult to sew. Now with this being such a soft, drapey, slinky jersey, it's definitely more difficult than a cotton jersey, for example, or like a Pontaroma, which are both more stable knits. However, I don't think viscose jersey is a difficult fabric to sew. Once you, um, you know, get a little bit used to handling it, I think it's actually quite easy and you know it's nowhere near as difficult as say like an ITY for example, which can be really soft and uh, slippery to handle. In terms of some tips for sewing with, with viscose jersey, lots of people like to cut out with a rotary cutter instead. Uh, personally, I'm quite traditional with the, with that, and I I uh, use scissors. Um, but you know, some people do find viscose jersey easier to cut out with a rotary cutter, so you could always try that. Um, and you will want to sew with a stretch type of stitch because your garment is, you know, that the fabric is stretchy, and the garment you make is likely going to need to stretch. To, to fit on the body. So you've different options with that. Of course you can use an overlocker or a serger um, if you wish to and that can make it really quick and simple to sew. So that is, that is a good option. However, if you don't have an overlocker, absolutely you can sew this on a regular sewing machine with no problem at all. You have a few different options. You can use a, a stretch stitch, um, you could use a, a simple zigzag stitch, which you'll definitely, um, you know, I'm sure you'll find on even the most basic of machines. But another option is you can actually use just a regular straight stretch, uh, sorry, a regular straight stitch. Uh, if you use um, Gutterman Maraflex thread, now this is a relatively new product on the market, and it it pretty much looks like ordinary sewing thread except it has up to about an 80% stretch in the thread and you'd use it on the on the um, spool and the on the bobbin um, and yeah you just sew with it you know like a regular sewing thread but then when you know you've stitched the fabric it the thread will actually stretch with your fabric now it's a little bit more expensive than uh, ordinary thread however you do get um, 150 meters on a spool 
and it doesn't require as much thread as well to sew because if you're only sewing a straight stitch that uses much less thread than a stretch stitch for it for example so yeah it's a really good option I've tried it myself and I must admit you know it's very tempting just to sew everything with Mariflex going going forward because it gives you a really neat stitch and yeah I mean you just get the, ben the benefits of both so that's definitely another option with this fabric so let's have a look at all the different prints that we're launching today and I've picked my favourite pattern to team with each one and I've also got another selection of patterns to share with you, and, to share with you at the end just to give you even more ideas on the sorts of uh, styles and, and, and specific patterns I think would be great for these fabrics. So first of all, like I said, this is our beautiful wildflower fusion print and I could not let this video go by without mentioning the named kilo wrap dress and jumpsuit i love this pattern it's super popular so many people have made it and it just looks fantastic on everyone and it's it's i absolutely ideal for viscose jersey and certainly one of this weight and quality it would just be oh i would feel so luxurious wearing this against your skin i think that would be amazing the other detail on that the, the kilo dress uh, is uh, famous for is the tie wrap detail around the waist and again because of the soft drapiness of this fabric it would mean that it's not going to add any extra bulk around there and it would just tie nicely and lay really well, drape really well. Um, so yeah I think that would be wonderful but also the jumpsuit option I think that would be fabulous and again it's just going to hang and drape beautifully in a viscose jersey. So the next fabric I've got to share with you, now this one I've made something in in uh, the viscose chalet base cloth and I'm absolutely going to have to do something in the viscose jersey as well. So this is our Inky Grove print and isn't that just stunning? Now the artist we work with for this design is a lady based in uh, Spain, she's a Spanish artist and she just creates the most amazing pieces of art that then we work on together to create a repeat tile print to print on fabric and it's quite a large scale print um, which I just think I just think is absolutely beautiful and the colours in this this rich royal blues and almost like purpley blues in there navy blues on that crisp white background I think that's absolutely breathtaking I love it now the pattern I've chose for this one is a chalk and notch pattern and this is the waterfall raglan. Now this is quite a simple top which I think is perfect for letting a fabric like this do all the talking and it's aimed at a beginner level so if you're new to sewing with knits, really good option. Now it has three views on the pattern, um, a very simple raglan sleeve uh, like cropped uh, top and then view B and C are two different lengths and they both feature a ruffle around the hem which you can see on the envelope front and I think that's what makes it perfect for a viscose jersey, absolutely perfect because those gathers would ruffle up and hang beautifully, oh, it would just be so pretty and you know I think it just takes it from being you know just a plain simple t-shirt to something you know something just a bit extra really elevates it and in a fabric like this oh what could be more beautiful now the third fabric i've got to share with you today now this is a really oh it's a stunning print this is called brushwork blooms and the colors in this are stunning oh isn't that just amazing? It looks like it's been painted on the fabric. Um, you know, as the, as the name we've chose suggests, the brushwork texture in this, it's just absolutely gorgeous. And I, I love that kind of artwork where, you know, it's, it's an impression of a floral or, you know, an impression of something, which is absolutely what this fabric is. Just such bold brush strokes that, you know, you can see the, the paint marks in those brush strokes. It's just beautiful and certainly you know you're not going to need to worry about pattern matching or anything like that in this print because it's such a you know a busy all over print absolutely gorgeous 
and I, I thought a dress in this would be lovely to really showcase all of that print. So I've chose the Liesl & Co Belgravia knit dress and this is another one that has a tie detail at the waist um, which I just again I think it's a lovely detail to, to use uh, Viscose jersey for because it will sit beautifully and you know it will tie nice and easily and it will hang really well. Now it has a little slit at the front um, on the hem which is really lovely and it has a v-neckline and there's a short sleeve or a long sleeve option. Either would be fabulous in this fabric, I think that would be an amazing pairing. Now the next fabric I've got to share with you, this is called Babylon Art and this is actually the same as the fabric that I'm wearing today. Let's put those there. And oh, I, I well, obviously I love this print because I've, I'm, <laughs> I've made something in it. It's so graphic and bold. It's such a statement fabric. I love turquoises anyway. It's one of my favourite colours, uh, and I love it's a colour I love to wear as well. But what I love about this print is those big graphic bold black lines and that hint. You know, every every so far on the print of um, it's like a red cum raspberry cum cherry pink sort of colour it really sets it off against that turquoisey blue background and I just think that print is absolutely amazing it really is like a work of art on fabric isn't it so the fabric uh, sorry the pattern I've chose for this one um, now this is a very simple pattern uh, aimed at beginners again so if you're new to sewing with knits another great one to start with and this is the Lark T from Grainline Studios. So it's a fantastic basic pattern is this one because you've just loads of different options in the one pattern. So you have a round neck, a boat neck, a V neck and then more of like a scoop neck. Um, and sleeve length you have short sleeves, three quarter length sleeves or long sleeves. So you know every option I think you could probably want in a tee. Um, I think it would be absolutely beautiful in a viscose jersey, it would feel wonderful against your skin and yeah just a great basic pattern in a fabulous print it would be wonderful. Now the next fabric, so this is called Lithograph Leaves and the colours again in this. Now purple isn't normally my go-to colour but in this print there is just something about it. How beautiful are those colours set against a black background which really makes them pop. I just love the scale of this print. It's a large scale but you know it's not too large. I just think that's absolutely beautiful with all those different styles of leaves all interlocking. Absolutely gorgeous. And the pattern I've chose for this one is a style art pattern called the Oakley Knit Top. Now I've actually got this one in my Sissoku and uh, yeah I, I just think it's such a lovely pattern. So it's got a round neckline, um, it has a seam along the back which um, has uh, so a seam along the back with then two seams coming down and it has a curved um, line at the hem that goes it hangs further down than it does at the front so that those extra seams add more fullness in the back of the top which just creates a really lovely draping effect which again would you know really work well with the draping effect of this fabric and then the really lovely detail on this it, it has three quarter length sleeves and on the sleeve is just a little tie detail just like on the top there and it's just really really pretty again that tie knot detail would hang really well in a viscose jersey um, yeah I just think that that's absolutely gorgeous and you know just something a little bit different a little bit more than just a plain tee but the drape and everything would just suit the viscose jersey so well so the next fabric I've got so this is called floral resort and this is again another really pretty floral one this time so it's on a black background so it's got a, a darker um, you know sort of more uh, I guess a warmer darker feel to it but with all these beautiful colours on there so it has this like foresty green colour that's quite subtle in the leaves and then just these hints of colours in all the flower heads so pinks and purples, reds, hint of yellow 
it's again just another really really pretty one and I think that's a type of fabric that you could wear all year round it's absolutely gorgeous now with that one I've chosen another dress for this one this is McCall's 8085 and this one has a few different views on the pattern so there's um, yeah three different views all of them have a very round uh, sorry a very simple round neckline and there's an option for a three quarter uh, a full length or a sleeveless option and the skirt is the bit that is the star of the show I think on this particular dress and all of them um, there's a waist seam and the skirt gathers into that waist seam and there's different length options but then on view B it has an extra ruffle around the bottom which I think I mean any of the views would be lovely in our viscose jersey but the one with the extra ruffle I think would just be even more special um, and all of the views come with pockets as well which uh, yeah I think is great in a dress like that and I think that that dress it really nails the daytime dress look you know you you want to wear a dress and something a bit more special but you don't want it to be super dressed up I think that would be lovely and just a wonderful dress for any time of year next up we have this is a really warm beautiful color and this is called um, orchid spray this print so this is again another stylized floral quite an unusual floral design and isn't that colour beautiful I describe it as a true rust is this colour yeah a true rusty colour it's quite a soft warm understated colour in some respects and then these beautiful colours in the print so we've got um, like bluey greys navy cream um, like a fiery orange colour, um, stones, and just lots and lots of different colours but I think it's quite toned down compared to some of the other uh, prints in the collection. Really really lovely and again I think that's a print that could take you through all the year, all the seasons. Now I've gone for, this is, um, I really love this pattern, I've never actually sewn it myself yet but it's been on my sewing queue for what feels like forever so I really do need to sew this now in Viscose jersey because I just think it's the perfect match and this is the Megan Nielsen Briar um, top which comes with uh, four different views so they all have uh, quite a, a deep um, scoop neckline that looks like it's finished with a, a neckband which I think is a really lovely finish and then it has a, a very exaggerated high low hem so the at the front and at the back it's got a really deep scoop on the hem which I think is a really uh, unusual lovely detail and you've got a short sleeve or a long sleeve option and there's also the option for a different couple of shaped pockets to put on the, um, the front as well so again it's a really simple lovely a knit top pattern would look really lovely in a viscose jersey and I think in that print would be well in any of the prints really but in, in that I think that would be a really lovely one to take you through all the seasons so next up this is our floral whirl print and I think you'll see why <laughs> so it's the absolutely gorgeous mid-scale print floral design and what I love about this one is it has the effect as if it's been um, like chalked on the fabric so it looks like a hand drawing if that makes sense well if I hold it up there you'll be able to see the details but yeah the, the edges of the flowers and the leaves and the petals are all quite soft and um, and not like a very exact line so it just, yeah, it literally just looked like someone's got some crayons or chalk and has drawn the pattern out. Really, really lovely. Quite unusual, I think. I love the scale of this print. You know, it's a little bit bigger than just, uh, you know, than, than a, a ditzy sort of print. And on that black background, it really allows those gorgeous colours to pop. Really, really lovely. Another one I think that'd be great for it all, all year round. And the fabric, uh, sorry, the pattern I've chose for this one is a really good seller here at Minerva. It's a really popular pattern, very simple to make, lovely for holidays, I think. And this is New Look 6210. So this is a very simple um, dress pattern and it has four different options in the pattern. So the um, it has different lengths. 
it has um, different necklines, so it has a deep round scoop neckline or a v-neck and the arm bands, uh, well, sorry, they're all sleeveless for a start and the um, arm holes and the necklines are finished with a band. Uh, there's an option to put a slit in the side as well. So really simple, lovely dress. Um, I think that would be really lovely for summer. In a print like that, it would really showcase that print. It would be absolutely beautiful. And again, you know, if you're taking it on a summer holiday, a fabric like a viscose jersey with like this that has a good amount of elastane in it, you know, there will be an element of creasing because it's viscose, but that elastane content really helps to stop the creasing. Um, so it won't crease as much as what you would expect, you know, with say a viscose shallow fabric, which does crease crease quite easily. So I think that's another thing as well that makes it perfect for taking on holidays, travelling, um, yeah and I just think that would be absolutely lovely. So the ninth print, so the second to last one I've got to share with you, so this is our boudoir bouquet print and this has been so popular on the viscose shelly and the French terry base cloths that we have that out there isn't that absolutely glorious it, it's so rich and deep uh, yet vivid at the same time those colors just look amazing it feels opulent it it almost looks like velvet somehow which it's just you know the designer is so clever on this one and we absolutely fell in love with this print when we saw it and yeah I, I'm not surprised it's been one of the most popular designs so far that in a viscose jersey to me is just fabric perfection. I think that's absolutely beautiful. Oh, I can't wait to sew in this one. Now, the pattern I've chose for this is one of my favourites. I think it's an absolute classic for a viscose jersey. And that is the Friday Pattern Company Adrienne Blouse. Now, this is um, quite a simple make. Again, uh, great if you're um, you know new to sewing with knits, and it's a, a fitted uh, top. And the 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 beauty with this is the neckline is quite wide, and in that neckline you have um, gathered details along, which create the volume into the sleeves, and then at the bottom of the sleeve that draws in to an elastic an elastic um, at about a three quarter length, um, so it, it you know gives the effect of a cuff um, that you know draws it in with all those gathers. So these big beautiful sleeves on an otherwise very simple top, I just think is it's such a beautiful style and I can absolutely see why this has been such a popular pattern. Um, and yet yeah, it's just, it's in my opinion, it is made for a viscose jersey. Um, the, the volume in those sleeves, the way they'll hang and drape, oh that would just be, that would just be amazing. Now the last fabric I've got to share with you, the tenth design in the collection is the one on our dress form here and this one is called Animal Glow which I mean what a bold amazing animal print that is absolutely gorgeous I love the scale on this print you know it's, it's quite a large scale I would say for, for an animal print you know often you see animal prints as you know a lot lot smaller than this but I think that's what makes this print really pop and it just oh it's I just think it's amazing <laughs> I love it um, the the rich deep blue in the background the black in the animal print and then that pop of cerise pink what an amazing fabric that is. So the, fab, uh, the pattern I've gone for for this fabric is another dress because again I think a, I mean a top would be lovely but a dress will really show off that that glorious print and this is the Cashmerette Appleton dress. Now so this is a wrap dress and it comes with um, an option for a short sleeve or a longer sleeve and it has a tie detail where it wraps at the back of the dress um, it has a band that goes all the way around the waist which I think is a lovely detail and you know on a print like this I mean I wouldn't be worrying about pattern matching on this so I don't think you know that that interruption in the print won't matter um, you know it's such an all over print of course you could pattern match it if you want to but I certainly wouldn't be doing with a print like this I really don't think it would need it um, yeah and just a really really great pattern um, the the uh, cashmere patterns 
a lot of like the reviews that I've read on that is that the, the with this being a wrap dress, the band that goes around the neckline, it's really a really great fit in terms of that it doesn't gape. So there's, yeah, there's loads of reviews on Minerva that talk about this pattern and rave about it and just how good that neckline is. Um, so yeah, I think that would be a fabulous one in that fabric. So that's all 10 fabrics. Now I do have just a few more patterns to share with you. So we'll just quickly run through these as the, you know, just to give you even more ideas on the sorts of patterns that you could make in these fabrics. So first up we have the Wardrobe By Me fitted t-shirt. So this is a really simple, beginner friendly t-shirt pattern that has a gazillion different options in the pattern. Um, so, you know, from sleeveless to short sleeve, uh, three quarter, elbow length, long sleeve, round neck, boat neck, scoop neck, v-neck, just every option I think you could possibly think of. So fantastic uh, beginner pattern and fantastic basic uh, that would be fabulous in any of these fabrics. So next up we have the Cashmerette Concord t-shirt pattern. Now this is another simple tee. Um, this one is designed for sizes 12 to 32 in cup sizes C to H. So if you are larger in the bust then this pattern um, is drafted for that in mind and should achieve a really good fit for you. Now this one again has lots of options in the pattern, so it has a wide neckline, a round scoop neckline and a v-neckline, it has um, a short sleeve, um, a longer sleeve and it also has an option with a sleeve that has a tab on it as well which I think is a really lovely detail on this uh, pattern and yep again would just be another great basic for our viscose jersey. Next up we have the Megan Nielsen Rowan bodysuit and tea pattern. Now the, the top of the tea pattern uh, in this, again is a very simple tea with lots of options. It does also have a funnel neckline which uh, is different to the other ones. But the main reason I wanted to show you this pattern today was for the bodysuit option. So again, I think uh, a bodysuit in our viscose jersey would be lovely because it's, it's not um, too thick or heavy. It has enough recovery and the softness of that jersey is just going to feel beautiful against your skin. So yeah, that's another great option. The next pattern we have this is a menswear design from Thread Theory and this is the Henley um, t-shirt pattern. So there's two views in the pattern. Version 2 is a very simple t-shirt. It has a round neckline with a band finish and then simply turn up hems on the sleeves and the, um, and the bottom. And then version 1 is um, very similar except it has a band along the bottom, long sleeves and bands at the bottom of the sleeves. But the special bit on this bit version is the round neckline has a placket opening with a button details so that just you know just adds a little bit of something to an otherwise plain t-shirt and yeah I think that would be again really lovely in all the viscose jerseys it would just feel lovely against your skin. The next pattern is another menswear one from Thread Theory and this is the Woodley Tee. Now this is a classic relaxed fit sort of t-shirt, again with two options on the pattern. So they both have um, a simple round neckline finished with a band and they have options to add a patch pocket on the front if you wish. There's a short sleeve option or a longer sleeve option and on version 2 it actually has a seam line across the chest. And I think that would be really interesting because you could pair different prints together in the one uh, garment or you could pair a print with a plane. I think that would be really lovely as well. So yeah, lots of um, opportunities to be a bit creative with that pattern. Next we have another pattern from Wardrobe by me and this is the Wanda Wrap Dress. Now this is, um, it has a v-neck line and the wrap on the bodice, it has um, sort of folds and gathers that come into one side, then with a tie belt around that ties at the front and the skirt is quite full. So all those details I think make it perfect for viscose jersey. The folds in the bodice will sit beautifully because of the drape and the fabric. The tie again around the waist would, would work really well in viscose jersey and then the fullness of that skirt would just uh, drape and swish and waft as you walked it will feel lovely to wear 
It has four different sleeve options in this pattern. So there's a sleeveless, which I really like the idea of that, making that for summer. I think it's a really lovely look uh, with all the other style elements in this pattern. Uh, it has a shorter sleeve, a three quarter leaf and a full length sleeve. So again, loads of options in that pattern and I think that will be wonderful in this course jersey. The next pattern I've got is a really popular pattern here at Minerva. Year on year, this is one of our most popular patterns. And this is New Look 6310. Now this is a wrap dress designed for knit fabrics. So it has a wrap at the bodice and uh, that creates a V neckline which has a band all the way around to finish that. Um, and then it has um, a, a belt like tie um, detail around the waist which you can choose to tie in different ways and it has um, a, a short sleeve, a three quarter length sleeve or a sleeveless option but the bit I really love about this pattern is two of the views you have an option to sew, to sew a fuller more like A-line skirt um, which I think is really lovely with that cinched in waist, it creates a beautiful silhouette which personally I really like and I would be sewing that option but if you prefer a, a straighter skirt there is also options for, for a straighter um, skirt which again equally will be lovely in the viscose jersey so yeah you've so many elements on that one pattern that you can pick the options that you like and create your perfect dress from it and the last pattern I've got to share with you today, so this is the Tilling the Buttons Lotta Dress, which is aimed at beginners. So if you're looking to sew a, sew a dress in our viscose jersey, this could be, a, and you're a beginner, this could be a perfect pattern to start with. Now what makes this pattern quite unusual is that it's suitable for either wovens or knit fabrics. Um, it has um, a simple um, round neckline, has a shorter or a longer sleeve, and it also has the option for pockets, like patch pockets on the front as well. But what is the interesting detail particularly about this pattern is that it's quite a straight shape, but it is pulled in at the waist with elastic. So that means you've got quite a lot of fabric that pulls into the waist and then quite a lot of fabric that goes out again at the skirt. So it creates a really lovely shape, but I think it's absolutely key on this fabric that you use a fabric with drape so that all those uh, folds that go into that gathered elastic detail hang really well and I just think in our viscose jersey the weight of it would hang beautifully that skirt would just swish and feel beautiful against your skin so yeah I think that would be a, a really really lovely option for our viscose jersey fabric so that's all the patterns and all the fabrics that I had to share with you today. I really hope you enjoyed looking at those. We, like I say, are so excited to be launching this base cloth. It's been a long time in the making, um, but we, we were absolutely, you know, we really wanted to find the absolute perfect viscose jersey and I absolutely think we've done that. It's just the most beautiful quality fabric. You, you feel it and you can just feel the quality it's just it feels amazing um, so yeah we can't wait to see what you sew in these in these fabrics um, and yeah I hope I've inspired you and give you lots of ideas today on the sorts of styles and you know specific patterns that you can make in these fabrics so let me know in the comments below which was your favorite fabric which was your favorite pattern which was your favorite pairing do you plan to sew in any of these fabrics what would you make I'd love to hear your ideas and in the comments as well. As always in these videos we will tag everything that I've mentioned today below the video so if you want to have a look um, you know, at all the details on these fabrics or patterns just click on those links and you'll be able to see the product pages on Minerva and as always the great thing about uh, the Minerva website is that any of the makers in the Minerva community that have shared their makes using either these patterns or fabric if they've tagged those in the post then they will show on the product pages and it's just really inspiring and really helpful to be able to look at you know the different versions that people have made of different patterns you can see them made up in all different fabrics on all different people different shapes and sizes people of different sewing abilities um, and you know just um, you can read all about the uh, process of making the pattern you know what were the instructions like what was the fit like was it easy to sew all that really good stuff so yeah, have a look at those um, product pages that we'll tag below and I'm sure you will leave inspired to start sewing your next project. 
So thank you very much for watching today. I really enjoyed going through all of those fabrics and patterns with you. Um, yeah, it's especially a joy when it's our Minerva exclusive fabrics. We're really, really proud of this collection here at Minerva. And yeah, we really hope you will like it too. So thank you very much for watching today and I will see you again next time.